a week, what a week, what a week. Welcome back to the Dot the I podcast. It's your boy, Big C. Before we jump in, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are brand new. So the Buckeyes are rolling, man. It was a complete game by the Buckeyes, 49-14 to over the Michigan State Spartans, moving the Buckeyes to 9-0 and on the year, 6-0 and in the Big Ten. Dwayne Haskins Jr. had an interesting game. He went 21 of 37 for 319 yards and three touchdowns. He also threw two interceptions, one on a rush screen pass, and another late in the fourth quarter during garbage time. Mike Weber continued his strong running, carrying the ball 23 times for 165 yards and three scores. It seems like later in the game, and as the game goes on, the stronger he runs. And a special shout out to Brian Sneed. He was able to get into the end zone as well. Ben Victor. Had a monster game. Eight catches for 162 yards and one touchdown. Austin Mack and A.J. Alexander both got into the end zone as well. Back to Victor. He's starting to show why he is such a dangerous weapon, and you cannot guard him one-on-one. On defense, Damon Arnett got the start opposite of Kendall Sheffield, and he had a big day tackling. He led the team with nine. Nick Bosa had another big day in the backfield with two sacks. John Cooper chipped in with two as well. Draymond Jones and Bryant Neal both had a sack apiece. And the BIA finished with three picks. Wade, Davis, and Sheffield all picked off Lewarki. Now it's time to go check out the rankings. The top 25 Buckeyes are sitting comfortably at number one. Followed by Miami, Wisconsin is third, Texas, UCLA, Clemson climbed back up to six after taking that early loss. Virginia Tech is seventh, Alabama is at eight, South Carolina jumped up to number nine, and Stanford fell to 10 after losing to USC. In the BCS rankings, Ohio State, our Buckeyes, number one, bumping out Miami. Wisconsin is third, and look who crept into the fourth spot, the Clemson Tigers. Texas, UCLA, Bama, South Carolina, Vitek, and Stanford uh, round out the top 10. It's award season. Here's a quick look at the leaders from each award. Two five leads for the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, the Doak Walker Awards. West May is leading for the Bednarik, but there are a few Buckeyes on that list. Bosa is also leading for the Lombardi. The secondary is heavy on the Thorpe Award, showing why they are the best in America. And finally, Demario McCall is the favorite for returner of the year with nine touchdowns. To the recruiting trail we go, and the Buckeyes landed two huge recruits this week. Welcome five-star athlete Darnell Johnson to the 2020 class. He's going to be a great addition to the quarterback room. And in the next recruit, we've been tracing him all year. He was number one on our board for most of the year. Four-star defensive end Larry Newman has signed. This defensive line class is impressive. Four four four-star prospects and two more top prospects still considering. Looking at the rest of the board, Mark Walker still has the Buckeyes at the top of his schools list, but has a visit with Bama coming up. Johnny Smith has moved Ohio State down to third on his list after a visit to UAB. The hopes are to keep it close and persuade him in the offseason. Five-star defensive tackle John Pittman has Western Michigan as his top school, but it's a tight race. Athlete Brandon Reed from Cali still has the Buckeyes as his top choice, but has a trip to Utah State coming up. The lead for four-star defensive end Michael McGee is huge. He's going to make another great addition to the Rushman package. A decision needs to be made between outside linebacker Brandon Owens and safety Nick Rogers. Rogers could play linebacker, but Owens has better coverage. Either way, both would be a great fit. With these latest additions, the Buckeyes have the number one recruiting class in the nation. Next up, the Nittany Lions from Penn State are visiting the shoe. No more Trace McSurley and no more Saquon Barkley. But that's okay. Penn State is 6-3 on the year, and they're now led by Tommy Stevens. He's thrown for 2,137 yards with 17 touchdowns and two interceptions. Andre Robinson is their new leading back. He's rushed for 662 yards and eight scores. But don't sleep on Miles Sanders. He's just as dangerous. 560 yards rushing and seven touchdowns. Stevens is a very dangerous weapon. He can also run the ball. He's harried the ball a few times for a nice yardage. Uh, But he looks to throw the ball to his favorite target, Jawan Johnson, that leads the team in receiving with 49 grabs, 785 yards, and 10 touchdowns. Expect Kendall Sheffield to be shadowing him all game. They also have a ball-hawking defense. The D-line gets after the quarterback, and they fly around the ball. We welcome the Nittany Lions to the shoe in the next video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are brand new. And don't forget to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram at Big C Got Game. Leave comments down below. 
I want to know what you guys are most excited about. Are you excited about this recruiting class? Who's been your favorite recruit so far? Leave all that down below. And don't forget, we still have to talk about should the Buckeyes go independent? I want to hear, hear your guys' opinion, so drop that down below, all right? I'll talk to you guys in the next week's video. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.